I've been very blessed to be with a lot of creative people. And we get into conversations that deal with what it's like to be a creative person. It's not all about just splashing paint onto a canvas or walking into a kitchen and turning things into this beautiful masterpiece of work. But rather, who is the person? What is the artist going through in order to be in this place of now? I've always said that creativity is an addiction. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we always make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Sometimes you just want to put on a pair of sunglasses and just walk about the planet. You can't see my eyes, so therefore I must not be here. Did you ever play that childhood game where you'd put your hand in front of your eyes? You can't see me because I can't see you. It's kind of like how, how you feel about this this everyday world. And, and now they're saying, what is this, this BA.2? A variant, another variant of COVID is coming along? They say it's, it's not dangerous yet, but, but we have an eye on it. It's like, put your hand up. I can't see it, so therefore it can't infect me. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. This is what I write about. I write about what's moving in forward motion as well as emotion because we are to learn something. And if you take the time to write it out, you're going to learn. You're going to find those steps. You have a ton of questions inside your heart. But are you asking the questions or are you just accepting life? Eh, It is what it is. This is The Daily Mess. Is it supposed to feel like a series of mazes? We turn to the left only to hit another wall. Quick, go to the right. Just like that, there's a new block created. Staying aware in a world where running away seems easier. The goal and daily ambition is to understand the path. So what we've got to do is we have to stop mingling in areas that we have absolutely no control over. Compassion is a beautiful gift to share. The art of listening has been lost to tweets, texting, and TikTok. The thoughts are sent, but the reader is left to interpret. I think, I may, I might. Click ghosted. It reminds me of the childhood song, make new friends but keep the old, one is silver and the other is gold. We don't remember phone numbers anymore because we spend several hours trying to remember, so what was her name again? What, ah, What was her name? What was her name? I mean, thank God for Facebook with a search engine. At least that helps me sorta okay finds them, and I haven't been right all the time. I have a dictionary with me all the time, especially when I'm daily writing, and the reason why is because spell check has made me a very lazy speller. CNN has turned me into a freak filled average man just trying to make it. Is it supposed to feel like a series of mazes everywhere we go boom it's another wall go this way it's another wall go this way it's another wall and all of a sudden you just don't feel like it anymore it's like why why and the question is how should become your new why instead of asking that why it's like how am i going to get past this wall in the maze where am i going to find it and we have to just kind of take that word why and set it aside Because if we don't, then we're going to spend so many days, weeks, and months trying to perfect the why. Because no matter what answer that you're going to give yourself, you're going to go a different direction, hit another wall. So replace the why with how. How are we going to get along? I think that's the reason why I'm so heavily, deeply inspired by the leader of Ukraine. This man continues to hit every one of these walls on a daily basis. It is completely 100% out of his control. But look at the control that he is showing to the rest of the world. We can stand united as a planet through his nightmare. His darkness is inspiring people all over the planet. Instead of asking why, he's saying how. And through that how, he's locating answers. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.